spirometry measures different volumes of air as patients exhale into a spirometer. Some spirometers also allow you to inhale and the volume of gas is measured using the same milliliters that one would use for volumes of fluid. Tidal volume is the volume of air which is inhaled and exhaled during a normal breath, breathing at rest. And for both men and women, it averages about 500 milliliters. So in an average breath, we inhale 500 milliliters and then exhale 500 milliliters. This is our tidal volume. Beyond what can be exhaled in a normal breath, our tidal volume, we have a reserve which we can forcefully exhale. This is known as our expiratory reserve volume. It uh, can vary due to our uh, size and the size of our thoracic cavity and averages about 1,200 milliliters for the average man and 700 milliliters for the average woman. In the same way, we can inhale more air than typically is inhaled in a normal breath for our tidal volume. And so this amount of air, which can be forcefully inhaled, averages more than three liters, more than 3,100 milliliters for an average man and 1,900 milliliters for an average woman. Our vital capacity is our maximum ability to move air. So if we take into account our tidal volume, our ERV, that which can be forcefully exhaled, and our IRV, this is what can be forcefully inhaled. This is the air that we can move, uh, and uh, this can be measured by a maximal inhale followed by a maximal exhale. This is our vital capacity. We can also use the term residual volume for that amount of air which still remains in our lungs after a maximal exhale. Obviously, we don't create a vacuum devoid of gas molecules when we exhale. And so there is some air which remains, which is not measured by the spirometer. This is the residual volume. If one then added the residual volume to our vital capacity, you would get the maximum amount of air uh, which uh, can uh, enter the lungs, and not only the maximal amount of air which we can move, but the residual volume which remains afterwards, and this can be called our total lung capacity.